Hello everyone, it's Megan from KenHub here and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at a type of epithelial tissue known as simple epithelium. Before we dive in, let me first give you a quick overview of what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to work in a fashion that starts as very broad and general, then we'll get more and more specific as the tutorial moves forward. So first we'll look at the tissues of the body, then we'll move on to define epithelial tissue. After that we'll focus specifically on simple epithelium, the topic of this tutorial, as well as exploring different types of simple epithelium and where it's found in the body. We'll then round off with some clinical notes that are relevant to the topic. So first I'll set the scene a little bit by talking to you about what epithelial tissue is and how it relates to other tissues of the body. Now there are four basic tissue types that make up the organs and tissues found in the human body. There's epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue and nerve tissue. In the image on the right we can see all four tissue types. So externally we have the epidermis of the skin highlighted in green which is our epithelial tissue. Beneath that we have the dermis in pink and the hypodermis in yellow which essentially consist of connective tissue. And then we have muscle tissue followed by nerve tissue in the form of nerves, which I've circled for you in our image. So now that we've covered the four basic tissue types of the human body, let's focus on the one that we're interested in, which is, of course, the epithelial tissue. So epithelial tissue is a tissue made up of cells that cover surfaces both inside and outside of the body. And because of this, it's known as a covering tissue. Epithelial cells rest on a specialised form of extracellular matrix known as the basement membrane or basal lamina. We can see the basement membrane highlighted in green in our image, and that is situated between the epithelial cells, whose basal surfaces are attached to it, and the underlying connective tissue. So when we're classifying epithelial tissue, several factors are considered. For example, the number of cell layers present. It can be classified as either simple when only one layer of cells is present, or stratified when two or more layers of cells are present in the tissue. It can also be classified according to the shape of the epithelial cells, that is as squamous, cuboidal, or columnar. Here you can see I've made cartoon depictions of these cells. We have our fried egg-like squamous cell on the left, our cuboidal cell in the middle, and our columnar cell on the right. It can also be categorised according to specialisations that the epithelial cells may possess. For example, they may be ciliated, have phili, or be keratinized. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.